Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this video will be about relationships. And I don't mean relationships as in dating advice because I probably couldn't give any of that. But besides that, we're going over database relationships. So what is a relationship? Well, in, in a database, everything is connected. It's Think of it like a giant web. Somehow something is connected to something else. Rather than storing everything in a giant table, Sorry, my, wet, my uh, board's kind of wet, so it's not really writing very well. We split that, and then we have two smaller tables for manageable data, simplicity, as well as uh, data integrity reasons. So now, we still have to maintain the connection between data, so we take one huge table, break it into two tables, and then we have what's known as a relationship. There are multiple kinds of relationships, and we'll be talking about that in the next video. But for this video, we'll be talking about the general concept of relationships. So relationships talk about entities. An entity is anything we store data about. So this is an entity, and this is an entity. And they are related in some way. They're connected. There's a relationship between them. This eraser is crap. Die! Ah! There we go. Piece of junk. Okay, there we go. Except now my chalkboard's all wet. All right. Oh, where was I? So we have to worry about entities. There's two terms that we talked about earlier. Entities and attributes. Entities are anything we store data about. Attributes are the things we store about the data. Well, when it comes to entities, wait, that, attributes are what we store about the entities. So uh, basically we have entities, and then we have the attributes for that entity, right? And then we have a different entity. So that is part of our database design. We figure out all of the things we're storing data about. Think of like a college. We can store information about the student, the professor, the classes, the uh, faculty, the whatever else. So we can have multiple entities and then multiple attributes about that entity. And then we can have a third entity so just think, uh, student, professor, class. This is all part of our database, uh, our database. So our database structure consists of three entities and attributes about each one of those entities. What's an example of an attribute? Well, it could be the student's name, the student's address, the classes they're taking, the um, what their whatever it doesn't really matter they're a major that's another entity we could have an entity about the the majors such as science or whatever else and then we can have attributes for that like the classes that are required to get that major uh, how long it takes and so forth that will become part of our database structure well these are still related in some way because we have a student is a student uh, is going to school for a major, so there's a connection from this entity down to the major. So let's just replace these with like, all right, here's student, and then, okay, that looks like crap. Uh, can I have, let's put some specific examples in here. We could have a student, we could have a, uh, Professor, example so prof. Uh, and then we can have class, and then we can have major. Well, a student goes to school to get a major. A student takes classes. The classes are taught by a professor. The professors typically have a specific um, area in that they teach, so they might be part of the major, like the major 
like the teachers for that major, whatever, uh, students. Yeah, you, you get the point. Everything's connected. So when we design relationships, that tells us how we want to structure our tables. That's going to make a lot more sense in the next video. So I just wanted to introduce the idea of relationships in this video. The next video we'll be talking about a specific kind of relationship. Ah. So, one, two, one. That is a t type of relationship. There are two other ones. One, two, many, and many, two, many. Here are our three types of relationships, and we will be talking about each one of these individually in the next three videos. So hopefully um, you are interested in seeing those. This is when we really get started with actually designing databases. All right, so thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe, click like, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.